Hello. This is uh, this is going to be a weird uh, video, but after watching this trailer uh, uh, during the direct a few days ago, I have become pretty much obsessed with it. This is like the Mario game that people have been wanting for for a while. People have been complaining that New Super Mario Brothers or Mario as a whole is getting stale or boring, uh, especially the New Super Mario Brothers series. So. You know, I, I agree with some of those opinions, <clears throat> but uh, I I just, I've been looking at this and I've been really excited, you know, a new Mario game. I've played every new Super Mario Brothers game apart from like you, and that includes you Deluxe uh, and Luigi U. And I don't know, this just, this just looks exciting to me and I wanted to do a video on it. I didn't, I didn't really want to do anything hard that I'd have to edit too much or really take the time to put together because well I'm going between one LP to another and while I have already recorded some episodes of that <clears throat> it's I I'm not going to be uploading it for a while so I wanted to make sure that I still had something it's not really an analysis but I wanted to just give my thoughts on the trailer as we go in uh, this is going to be a very like not very well managed video there's no script or anything I'm just going through and sharing my thoughts. So let's let's see. Onward. Okay, so this here, I a lot of people saw this and definitely thought it looked weird, and I couldn't agree more. Uh, Mario, right here, as small Mario with this background, looks weird when zoomed in. Every other part of it, you just he looks amazing. Every character other than him looks amazing as well. Uh, it all looks great. I just think this here was a weird intro. He looks weird. He doesn't really look 3D, you know? He looks like he's been cut out. But I think it's a nice art style when it's not zoomed in and when it's not with this specific background. I think it's like the plant pot behind him that really just does it for me, you know? Oh yeah, also the talking flower. Uh, I, I really like it. I hope it has the option to be turned off. I'm not going to do that, but I hope it has that option because I'm sure it would get very annoying for a lot of people. And also just this background is so beautiful. This is probably like a starting level. We've got um, the, the, the plant in the background, which looks like the, the wonder flower that we see later. Uh, the the hills look so beautiful as a butterfly and some birds and well I think birds maybe, uh the mountains in the background all kind of look like warp pipes and you can even see some similar warp pipe looking uh, stone columns as well. It just looks so amazing and so does the HUD honestly. Uh, it looks small, kept in one area but still easy to see and read. And there's two types of coins, <coughs> the purple coins and the regular coins. I'm assuming, because lives are back, which is kind of a weird decision, but I I think it's fine. I don't think the lives are going to be as harmful as, like, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, because uh, that's kind of just a an, an, an whole annoying system. Uh, and there's also reserve power-ups, which is really good. But I, I do think that, you know, it's fine. Uh, but I'm hoping that the purple coins are sort of like a currency you can use to maybe buy power-ups that you can hold in reserve at the beginning. Or, or like Mario Wii, where you just have like a whole list of power-ups. Or more like you, where you have like a more closed amount and limited amount of power-ups. But I just hope there's some kind of store where you can buy items. Looking at the area, it's a Mario game. Those brick blocks look a little weird, but I think the question block looks really nice. Uh, the, the 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 elements that aren't really far in the background, but you know, just a little bit there, like some flowers and a little bit of grass and the fences. I don't know, it's just nice little bits of detail. Uh, but also more interestingly is this thing here, which I'm gonna refer to uh, throughout the trailer as a wonder bud. It seems like when you touch these things, it sort of warps everything around you or will just add an item uh, it appears to mess with the landscape whenever Mario interacts with it. Anyway, let's uh, let's just continue. So as we see here, you know, again, Mario looks way better here, but also he has like a full-on animation 
uh, of like different stages in the growth before he like properly pops out. I'm assuming it's not going to zoom in in game. Uh, it's just going to be like a very quick one, two, there he goes. But, you know, it still looks nice, and yeah, Mario looks amazing, especially as Super Mario here. Uh, <clears throat> there is a pipe here, which I'm assuming if Mario hit that Wonder Bud, that pipe maybe would have moved. Uh, but it does seem like there's going to be a lot more pipes in different areas, which is good, because I kind of like it when a pipe just takes you from one area to another really quickly, and not to like a whole different sub-area. Uh, Oh, I didn't even notice there are like some mushrooms to the left in the background, which looks a lot more like a traditional Mario area. Maybe we're not really in like the regular Mushroom Kingdom. This might be like 3D World where like we're in this other kingdom, which I have more reasons uh, to think that as we go in further. That tree also looks all like weird and stuff, you know? Everything in this game just looks weird, but in like a great way. And Mario, just all of his animations look so good in this game. And there he is off to commit uh, a murder. Um, it seems like jumping on enemies. I'm assuming he hit the jump button after uh, landing. But he just go. it feels like he goes so high. I think what really makes it feel like that is because Mario has this whole animation, you know? Stretches his arms out. He's so happy. He's got his like hat blowing in the wind. You even get like a good when you land on the enemy. That makes jumping on enemies feel just so exciting. I feel like jumping on enemies is going to be like a new level of fun that you don't really get. Like you never really jump on an enemy and feel excited. It's just like kill that enemy. Also, it seems like the Goombas are all sleeping. And that makes me think that this is going to involve some sort of dream world. In fact, when we see the the Wonder World, as I'm putting, as I'm gonna just call it, I don't know what has official names yet or not, but um, it feels like a dream. It reminds me. I, I'm gonna talk about it later, but this this game reminds me a lot of Dream Team, uh, which is just such a good game if you haven't played it already. But also, if you look in the background, there's even more sleeping Goombas, uh, who look amazing. Just everything in this game looks so beautiful. Like, this is the Mario game people have been wanting. No matter what, whether or not you care for Mario, care for 2D platformers, care for platformers at all, you have to be, ex like, at least slightly excited about this. Just for the sake of it, it's going to be something new. And if you are a Nintendo fan, no matter what, you have to, like, care slightly about Mario going through such a huge change. Because this could mean anything for the series you like. Like Zelda or Kirby or Metroid even. If they're willing to do this for Mario, think what they're going to do for your favourite game, you know? Mario is not my favourite game, I should say, but I am obviously a big Mario fan. I've grown up with Mario since the Wii. Mario's cool. I just love his high energy. I don't always have such high level of energy. I, I know that there are a few recordings where I've just felt completely dead, but that's why I just love Mario. He's just I, he's just a, a desirable character. That sounds wrong. I mean, he's not unattractive. I wouldn't say my type. Anyway, uh, also it seems like you can sort of jump on two enemies at once, and it does sort of make... the animation kind of does looking through it does flow quite nicely as well like just look at that he's going back in again and then here we see this area which appears to be like a foresty area a uh, few things about this is these piranha plants that get up and go it seems like all the enemies are going to have some kind of vast change these music boxes which are uh, in the foreground and the background uh, they seem to make you jump up higher and also make noise as you as you or enemies run on them it's pretty cool. Also, this plant appears to have like a uh, uh, this 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 pipe appears to have like a plant growing out of it, which is quite cool. Uh, but because you can see coins, pipes, the music blocks, and even a wonder bird in the background, it seems like you're going to have many. And we do see later, you're going to have the ability to enter the background, which is so cool. Like. I know Kirby Triple Deluxe has done that. I know other, like, 2D platformers. I think Donkey Kong does that. Um, it's still cool. Because, like, Mario. 
when has Mario even experimented with something as close to that, you know? But yeah, here we see the piranha plant. It definitely looks like there's some kind of moss growing off of it. Uh, but he gets up, he follows you, he activates those things. There's these things which are a new... I want to say enemy, but they seem harmless and Mario just looks like an like the asshole here. Also, this does seem to be further in like that same level or at least in that same world. Um, but yeah, it seems like these these uh, these round hippo enemies uh, are going to be like able to be pushed around or jumped off of. And the, I don't know if Mario pushed that one down there into a hole or it, it just spawned there. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really seem like these creatures are going to be treated too nicely. Uh, but when Mario grabs that, he gets like an excellent and in the top right corner, uh, which no longer has a timer, I forgot to mention, which is a great thing they've removed. Uh, he gets one of three. So it seems like each level is going to have three of those big coins that aren't really like going to be necessary for any kind of completion and are just going to be 10 extra coins, which he already has 133. So, you know, it's not the most exciting to get 10 extra, but it seems like it's just there if you're someone like me who loves to collect everything in a level. There's something new to collect. I'm assuming if you go back through the level, maybe they'll be worth like five or two or just one, or maybe they're still worth the whole 10. Who's to say? Um, but yeah, as you can see, when Mario jumps on that, he uh, knocks it into these goom brats, which I I'm happy to see them back, you know? They're the red Koopa Trooper of Goombas, not too exciting. But yeah, he goes all the way up to wonderful uh, when he when he gets that. And I'm pretty sure it, it might have said wonderful when he picked up that coin. But it seems to go good, great, super fantastic, excellent, incredible, wonderful. Really going all, all like a whole step further than Sonic Colors. Uh, God, I love that. And it seems like uh, the, you know... That, that hippo earlier just rolling down a hill and stuff. It's just the fact that you can kill them into enemies. And they're going to be, like, going all around the place. Maybe they'll bounce off of walls like Koopa shells and stuff. It's so cool to see. Uh, here we see Mario jump. And when he does that, he actually hurts his arm on the ceiling. But quickly uh, grabs onto it. This background looks really trippy uh, as well. And it seems like when you hit these red wonder buds they first of all appear to have an eye um or that could just be like something coming off of them actually yeah definitely um but they appear to just make items a they appear to make items appear uh and other things i don't know if these red ones are like because it's a different world or they affect the world differently uh, but they don't seem to do anything as drastic as the other wonder, as, as like some of the other wonder buds we see here. But yeah, this is a really like trippy looking background. Not sure what this could be. And the enemies down at the bottom kind of look like green spinies, but they like look at Mario as he goes along, which a lot of enemies do. And you know, Mario, like yeah, uh, when Mario gets close to them, they appear to jump up. But just look at all of these great animations as he's doing everything. Look at him land. Look at him get ready to go forward. Also, there's like a dark cloud enemy at the top. That's pretty cool. There's just so much here that really just shows Nintendo are doing something with Mario. Uh, here we see what definitely has to be like another world. And we've got some red Koopa Troopers, which also look amazing here. Uh, this is going to be clear like a water world, but there's a lot of stuff in the background. There's like a Koopa Shell Island behind the waterfall, if you look back there. Uh, a giant wave island, which is of course something you're going to notice a lot more. Yeah, and that Koopa Shell Island appears to have like a little hut on it. Just a nice little background element. These clouds uh, appear to just be spreading water everywhere. Uh, and they got little eyes on them because it's, it's Mario. Everything's got to have little eyes. And as Mario gets close to the Koopa Trooper, it gets like angry and looks at him, which I think is really cute. And the plant says, comes to say, hey, yeah. I'm not sure what these plants are going to do. Uh, some of them definitely say more than just, hey, maybe if you stay around them, they'll have different things to say, different hints. Maybe depending on what power ups or enemies are close to them, they'll have different interactions. Or maybe all of them just kind of have the same few interactions. Who's really to say? I hope the voice acting is in the game. Because I saw a few people say that it might just not be. Uh, and it might just be like a trailer thing. That would suck. And that feels unlikely to me to be honest. So like, you know. 
Here we have these pink Koopas who have roller skates. Uh, also, we appear to be in a different kind of forest, but it has the music blocks. So maybe that's just like a thing that's going to appear in a lot of levels. Or maybe this is the same world. It, I really like the orange trees in the background. It just, again... Everything in this game uh, looks beautiful. And I haven't talked about the music. The acapella in the background is just... Mwah, it's perfect. But yeah, these enemies appear to sort of go all together in a line. And follow like a simple path. But when Mario gets close to them, they do look at him. Uh, they jump about a lot. They hit into those question mark blocks. But sadly, they can't activate them, unfortunately. Um, but maybe, you know... They have different actions depending on what Mario does or they're just following a simple pattern. Who's really to say? Uh, but I think they look really cool, you know, as like faster Koopas. Uh, uh, faster Koopa Troopers and stuff. Not sure. Uh, they definitely have different reactions to like ledges because they do fall off there. But are they going to turn around if there's a bottomless pit or something? You know? Um, also, we have this Mario block, which is pretty interesting. I'm assuming that means only Mario can hit it, which kind of sucks because we do see that are the characters and those characters don't appear to have many differences between like play styles. So it could be that they just put those in there. Maybe they'll just have power-ups and it won't actually be anything essential. If that's the case, then that's fine. Uh, we don't actually get to see what happens if those pink Koopa Troopers touch, unfortunately. And there is a checkpoint here, which I like Mario's little frown. I... There's no real, like, oh, maybe he doesn't... There aren't checkpoints. I wasn't going to say that, but... Yeah, there is a checkpoint here. Um, Mario, also, when running, it appears to have a little thing where, like, you'll see more of his boots, uh, which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, okay, there was a little cut there, but, um, yeah. It, I, I don't know what happened to Miyamoto. We never see him in that direct, so maybe Nintendo just did something to him. Because... Uh, when has Mario ever been allowed to be like this, you know? Maybe, maybe, maybe they, maybe they just, you know, forced his hand. They were like, we have to do something creative with Mario. And, you know, I, I want to hope that Miyamoto realized that he want that, that Mario has to, like, actually evolve. Because the focus on purely doing what works is, uh, well, it's not really a great mindset. Uh, here we see something amazing. Mario's hat will fall off as he runs into the pipe and he'll quickly grab it before popping out on the other side and we have these nice little flowers to welcome him as he comes out. He even does a little looking left and right. Uh, again this appears to be in the same uh, level that we saw earlier. The background is pretty much the same as even the Goombas still there. There's also a lot of wonder buds and as you can see here he touches one of them. It lets out, uh, it sort of shrivels and lets out that little thing. And it makes all these pipes grow, some of which have water spurting out of them. But it also makes this, the wonder flower, appear. And I'm definitely sure that these kind of... I mean, I can't say definitely sure, but I feel like these are only going to appear if you hit those wonder buds. Hitting the wonder bud makes the wonder flower appear. And hitting this is when we really get to see... This game is going to be something cool. <laughs> Whoa well, indeed, little flower dude. Mario, uh, what we see there is that Mario goes into the middle and sort of turns into like that glow form. Maybe that will change Mario's form in certain things, but yeah. The background gets all funky. All of the things in the background that I said looks like pipes, they got eyes on them, and now so do these pipes. Isn't that awesome? They're moving about, spraying water. The, the plants going fucking crazy. Even the ones in the background are moving. Well, not the big ones, but the smaller ones. Uh, and this wonder bud here appears to just not be enjoying it too much. So maybe if you pick one of them up, uh, wonder buds or some of the wonder buds just won't want to interact. There's also this fountain there, which is, it looks nice. Uh, and here we see more purple coins. And if you look at the purple coins in the top left, there's now a point zero. I'm assuming while in Wonder World, which is what I'm calling this, um, that you can collect smaller ones that won't really equal a full purple coin uh and if you have like a point you know it will it just won't give you the extra coin that you might have earned which is kind of going to be a little bit sad in case you get like nine and it just about ends which is weird we don't really know how the wonder world ends maybe may, we do know there's a way of it to end but it might also work on a timer 
there's no timer here, so it might be like the the uh, the invincibility star where it just you know you got to remember the music, or it will play like a sound effect near the end. But yeah, everything goes crazy. The music is a little weird here. I I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan. So I hope it you know doesn't play like this for too long. Or changes at some point. These pipes are moving, but this pipe here, it gets up and just goes. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can enter it while it's like this, but he's like a little caterpillar, and it even lets you get up onto these trees. Uh, here, as you can see, uh, this doesn't appear to be in Wonder. Actually, yeah, it does have the background where it appears to be in Wonder World, but this one is glowing all blue like. I'm assuming that that is something that happens in uh, the Wonder World. And that timer up there, maybe maybe he just appeared from a Wonder Bud, but the seed appears from the Wonder World, uh, which is just above him. Uh, also, something I should mention, the mountains in the background are very clearly like the pipe-like mountains we saw in the previous level, just closer up now. Uh, there's also some, some, uh, some bigger and smaller sizes for the rolling hippos, even in the background. I don't know if this thing is going to revert its size once Wonderworld ends, or when the timer ends, or perhaps that timer is when Wonderworld ends, but I'm assuming that the only way to get that seed is while it's all big and bouncing around like so, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge. This here, I'm not sure if you are controlling Mario's height, or if it's that the, the, the game is controlling it with the background moving, because we do see that the background moves can change what happens in the foreground uh, in the Wonder World with all the pipes. But yeah, th I mean, this looks really nice, you know? The the bright background and then just the pure darkness for all the characters apart from their eyes and seeing the really tall Goomba. I feel like maybe you have to be in tall form to jump on it or maybe not. I don't know, that seems like Mario's jump height is pretty achievable. It might just be like a stylistic thing. Or maybe that's gonna just, you know, change how you get hit. Uh, this here appears to be like a bullet bill that got hit, but most importantly, Mario's got like a spiky ball power-up. I don't know if this is a power-up he got, uh, or was it was just a form that was forced upon him because he's in Wonderworld. Also a new background, which appears to have sort of like sky islands. I can't really be sure. But yeah, that, that looks to be... No, okay, now that I'm looking at it, it looks more like a shelled enemy or some kind of bug. I don't know. Mario looks great here, though, I gotta say. These, the bowling sound effects as he's hitting into all of those things. So it appears that uh, if there are multiple flowers together, that's going to make them louder. Or, well, it's just really playing the voices together. Here we have, these, these appear to be the, uh, I don't remember what they're called. Uh, but there is another timer here, which is... Don't know if the colour is changing as it, yeah, as it goes along. Uh, but these appear to be the enemies that appeared in like the, the castles in Super Mario World and New Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, but they're sort of running along. Maybe we'll see them in a more natural habitat. Uh, so something very important here is... Uh, uh, we can see them in the background as well. And this does appear to be the same place where the rolling hippos were. They hit into the flagpole and it plays that little noise. I think that this is important because, as we see later, getting the flagpole or getting the top of the flagpole gives you a wonder seed. So it might be that, like, by doing this, you complete the level in an incorrect way, or maybe you miss out on... Maybe this is more like a secret exit that grants you a wonder seed. But no matter what, it appears that by doing this, Mario has failed. Maybe that flower will teach him that as you get closer, uh, but yeah, we see a little plant house. It's not really a toad house, because we see the thing coming out of it later, and it's definitely not a toad. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and here we see this is very clearly back in the first level with another fountain. And as Mario hits the wonder seed, everything reverts to normal, and we get this lovely logo. I really like it. I think the colors are nice. I saw someone on Twitter do like a bunch of pride and country flags uh, with the logo. <clears throat> as their colours. I think that looks really nice, you know? Uh, yeah, so it appears that getting the Wonder Seed will definitely end the Wonder World. So, maybe maybe the Wonder World's a part of blessing, part of curse. Who's to say? I'm so excited uh, for when this game comes out uh, in October 20th. And we get this new music. 
it's very clearly Mario music. It's very clearly like a remix of World 1, but it looks so nice. As you can see here, this level has a difficulty one star, and it says, Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. So clearly this is going to be the Flower Kingdom. And it does appear that you can just... Uh, oh, actually, that might be that he completed the level and the red one's one he doesn't. I'm not sure if you can just, you know, go to whatever level you want. Uh, here we see Green Mario. <laughs> I kind of was ignoring Luigi, but yeah, it, Luigi, he's there. Uh, I'm not sure if there's actually one you can like, yeah, it doesn't appear to be one you can freely traverse like Mario World. It's more just like a level select, which is quite sad. Uh, I really like being able to freely traverse, even if it's just uh, like an extra step to something simple. Uh, I'm not sure what these down at the bottom left are, though, to be honest. Who's to say? Uh, but yeah, he definitely just finished the first level because it, it's called Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. And in the top left, he only has two Wonder Seeds, which he got from that level. But yeah. And, okay, this this definitely uh, talks about what I was saying. So the Piranha Plants on Parade is the next level. And that does appear to be the level I wasn't sure whether it was, like, another world uh, later. Which is a little weird, because what I was sure was the same background... Actually, no, that I think about it, you can see it right here in the background. These are, like, the rocks and stuff. And while this certainly looks like... Mario 1-1. One, one. All of this stuff in the background is very different, you know? Uh, and also in the background here, we see this thing, which seems to transport him. And there's only three levels here. So I'm assuming uh, maybe you unlock secret levels at the end and the beginning. Uh, but maybe it's just worlds are going to have some much smaller levels, which will allow them to traverse uh, different styles very quickly. Here we see, uh, again, appears to be in more like the desert world with the the hill clouds in the background, which look like Mario has, which are quite nice. Uh, not sure what this enemy is. He's a little rodent dude. Uh, but Peach, who's also going to be a playable character. Um, and, you know, that shows that she's not being kidnapped by Bowser. So, yeah, new plot there. But anyway, she is just absolutely torturing this dude. And as you can see, as he reaches that wall, he looks back in fear. Or maybe that's just because he hit a wall and he has to turn around. But he was running from that red shell. Maybe he just runs when you get close to him. Yeah. But yeah, Peach seems pretty happy. Her hat does the same thing. She has the same, like, arm stretched out stuff. So does Toad. Look at how excited this little guy is. We also have these little... I don't know, these kind of look like Mario Galaxy enemies. But they're very clearly balloons, which I think is quite cute. Just look at how happy this man is. Where is Blue Toad is the question, because I don't see him anywhere. Blue Toad was kind of like a hidden character in U Deluxe, but he was also the only Toad in 3D World, so where is he? I just, I don't know. Anyway, this is something that's a lot more exciting. Uh, this sort of poison world, uh, but also Daisy? Daisy, Wario, and Waluigi have not really gotten their chance to spotlight in the main series games, and I'm hoping this will give all of them that opportunity. I'm hoping it's not just Daisy. Uh, but if it is, that's fine. You know, Daisy's really cool. Like, it's so cool that she's here. I mean, she hasn't really gotten that that, that opportunity. And here we see she's pushing this uh, sort of hammer bro enemy. More like a sledge bro enemy. Uh... Sorry, my brain stopped working. But yeah, it seems like this pipe is pushable and you can fight him fully on that. Uh, here we see maybe the beginning of another world with the same flower platform, but we see this thing. Now, I know what I was thinking when I first saw him. Neo Bowser's Castle from Mario and Luigi Dream Team. It does kind of look like that a lot, and I think this is what you're going to be spending the whole game chasing after. You're supposed to be spreading this toxic mist around, or that's probably just how he transports, but I feel like maybe it's both. He's got this hypnotized look on his eyes. Uh, this this is really cool. It also reminds me a lot of Bowser's Galaxy Generator. The coolest Bowser castle, and I'll fight anyone on that. So this is another thing. Mario appears to be quite freely moving around this area. Uh, we even see this little guy here. Looks kind of like a toad, but I'm assuming he's a Flower Kingdom resident. Uh, and we even have this little Wonder Seed button. Perhaps you need a certain amount, or maybe it's a shop, but I feel like that's unlikely. There's even levels that just aren't connected to anything at all. Maybe it'll start where it's feeling like a traditional Mario game for those who haven't seen the trailer so that it can really trick you once you get in. Whoa, this isn't your dad's Mario. This is new Mario, but not new Mario. 
Yeah, okay, I can see how the naming convention gets confusing now. They do still seem to be doing by some sort of linear path, but I'm not sure. Anyway, it does show there is multiplayer. Uh, nothing special. I really hope it has online, and it looks really fun. It looks like it's a major thing, you know? Uh, here we see a wiggler on roller skates as well, so maybe we'll get more roller skating enemies. There's even a nice little timer here, and it does show that you will get extra reserves if you're playing multiplayer. And the flower there is saying, wow, zippy. Uh, that's, I don't know. There's just so much personality in this one picture. It appears that the timer is actually counting up, so perhaps it's like a time challenge, which time you're going to want to do better and faster. Mario also has a crown over his head. There doesn't appear to be points in the game, but maybe it's something similar to how 3D World works, where you're trying to fight over points. I don't know. Here we see all four, and we see that some are in the foreground and some are in the background. This appears to be more like a ghost house, but more importantly, when Peach goes up that pipe, she like grabs onto it for a second before jumping up. That's so cool. Like that's like a, such a minor thing, but it's so cool because it's Mario. Mario doesn't show this level of personality at all. This is so incredible. Anyway, uh, Peach and Daisy in water level. This appears to be underneath where we saw the other wave islands, you know? Uh, well, the other wave island, but now we see like a bunch of them and we see Daisy jump on that enemy underwater. You can't jump on enemies underwater, so I'm so glad that that's been changed. There's also these things in the pipes probably gonna jump out at you. Uh, horrifying frame I've paused on, it seems. Uh, it appears that hitting that switch, despite the fact that they're not in a wonder world, makes the wonder seed appear. So perhaps I'm wrong in my original theory. Uh, but this makes it so you could only see their eyes, and I think that's the problem with the challenge. On-off blocks were kind of only a thing in Mario Maker. I know they were in older games, but... You know, they haven't really appeared in 3D Mario at all, unless they're in you or you deluxe but i'm pretty sure they're not also the plant panics maybe he's just afraid of the dark but maybe something is actually gonna go at you when that happens this is definitely something a lot more traditionally mario there's mushrooms everywhere in the foreground and the background and there's these weird totem enemies that are on these pumpkins and when mario grandpa's them he destroys the pumpkins uh, this is the coolest thing though in the whole trailer. Yoshi is a playable character that uh, that one of your friends can just play as. And you can ride him. There's also these germ looking enemies and this does appear to be, if you look at the background, it's where Mario was doing the grand rail earlier. Some happy little clouds, classic Mario, but still something new. And that appears to, you know, allow Mario to ride Yoshi who is also his own playable character. It's so cool. <laughs> Uh, so this is what I'm talking about on how, like, the plant may be used for hints, saying it's time to fly, you know? Uh, but most importantly, we do see something special here. The ability to glide. There was a little hat parachute icon there, but both Mario and Peach pull out their hats to glide. Now, I've seen a few people complain about this, that Peach is using, like, a hat to glide when her using her dress to do it was a whole thing. But Peach has never used her dress to glide. Uh, this is definitely semantics, but Peach has never used her dress to glide. She's used it to float many times, but that's not what this is. This isn't Peach floating, she's gliding. And it's definitely more effort for them to add like a whole new Princess Peach hat. Okay, well maybe not that much because it's like the same shape, but still, it's really cool. Anyway, here we see everyone jump on these flowers, which is clearly when it's going to be swapping from world to world. I feel like everything's going to be connected a lot like Mario 3D World. It's pretty nice. Here we see a orange wonder seed, and again, we did see different colored wonder buds. Uh, also, this has like gears in the background, but it looks like a snowy area, so I'm not sure if this is like a castle or outside. But uh, yeah, when he hits this yellow wonder seed, it does all of this, changes the background, tilts it, and all of that. I'm assuming Wonder Buds and Wonder... No, sorry, that's not a Wonder Seed, that's a Wonder Flower. Wonder Buds and Wonder Flowers, and maybe even Wonder Seeds, are going to change colour as they go along. I'm not... Again, I'm not really sure what the crown means, uh, but uh, as you can see, Daisy is the last character at the roster in the top left, but she's got the crown. Uh, here we see Mario has this star, and as he goes 
past Luigi, because characters actually exist on different planes here, he gives him the star. Which is, I really like that. There's no more getting in each other's way. I hope they're still picking up, but it's fine if there's not. Because getting in each other's way was one of the most annoying things uh, in the older games. This is definitely a Bowser castle. In fact, this looks like it's going to be the uh, the the uh, flying Bowser castle that we saw earlier. But here we see Dark Bowser Jr., as people have been calling him. Because he is essentially just Bowser Jr. Or, no, it's definitely Jr., as we'll see in a bit. Um, but he he has, like, Dark Bowser's colour scheme. Even more things that will remind you of the uh, Mario and Luigi games made by Alpha Dream. Anyway, it appears that he basically forces you into a wonder world during this boss, but that allows him to, and maybe even you, change the sizes. That's definitely Bowser Jr.'s mask, but that's definitely Dark Bowser's colour scheme, which is so cool. Anyway, uh, this wonder world appears to be in the snowy area, and it straight up just spawns a giant rolling snowy mountain, or perhaps a previous one earlier, uh, just grows and starts rolling and it it breaks up the level here we see these sort of like longer bullet bills and four different Yoshi colors which makes me think that other characters are going to get a similar treatment perhaps Luigi and Daisy are just alternate colors of Peach and Mario perhaps Toad will also have his alternate colors and that's where Blue Toad will be but also possibly like a Red Toad and a Green Toad um but yeah, I think that's so everyone can play the same character if everyone loves Mario, or everyone loves Peach, or the more likely, everyone loves Yoshi. I really hope Yoshis can also ride each other, because that'd be hilarious. Um, but yeah, these things have like a trail of smoke. Some appear to be going past the background. Some appear to be going directly for Yoshi, who just about dodges it. And even in the background, we see that flying Bowser Castle once again. Or maybe it's just another Bowser Castle. He even has the sort of top that the other huts had in the Flower Kingdom, which... Makes me think maybe he's, you know, fully integrated himself here. And here we see uh, the end of what I think is that first level we've seen multiple times. Pipes gushing out water. And as everyone jumps up onto this flagpole, they all get a wonderful from hitting the top and a little flag icon, which I'm assuming just shows that they hit the top, but maybe it's something else like how every character needs to beat the level in 3D World. But it also makes this flower hut appear. The other one had already appeared and it had the flower icon on the flag. So maybe if you beat a level, that's what happens to it, you know? Instead of it being like the Bowser flag. What do you think is cool? And when he beats the level, he slides down. A little flower guy uh, comes out with a wonder seed for Mario. He picks it up and we get this little guy. Little baby King Wiggler. I have a few theories. I have I have one theory. I think this is gonna be the king of the uh, or, or queen or prince or princess of the Flower Kingdom, and he's been you know cursed into the body of a Wiggler or something else by Bowser. Uh, maybe this is just him. You know, I'm sorry, Your Majesty, if I've insulted your form, uh, <laughs> but I love him. <laughs> he looks adorable. He rides around on Mario's hat in a few spaces. Not sure what its purpose is going to be, but it's nice. And we hear this, this snappy song. Very, very cool. October 10th. Uh, if you're an American, I'm sorry. I'm, no, it's not October 10th, October 20th. Uh, if you're an American, though, I'm sorry for scaring you with dates done correctly. I'll try not to in future. And that's it. And we even see this last bit. Same level by the looks of things, there's a ten corn underneath him. Mario grabs this apple. And he says wowie zowie, which I have been saying the whole like day. I love that he says wowie zowie. But hey, it's got a little elephant form now. Maybe he'll have more more obscure forms in this game. And he looks really nice. And this is my favourite bit with the flowers, okay? Honestly. Couldn't agree more. That Goomba does look so serene. Well, then. Well, <laughs> He's so, like, I hope the flowers have that kind of personality for the whole game. Not everything has to be as cool as... That Goomba looks so serene. Well, then. But it can show some level of personality like that. God, it's so cool. Uh, 
I did hear uh, someone say that that uh, I think it was Game Explain uh, that Elephant Mario is going to be able to like suck up water from the fountains, which have like little elephants in them, and spit it out. But we do know he's definitely going to be able to hit enemies with his trunk. And that's it. That was it. God, I I could not be more excited for this game. Uh, <laughs> like, for a, for a Mario game that's hitting me like this, Odyssey did not do this for me. You know, I, don't get me wrong, Odyssey is the uh, third, second, maybe best three D Mario game. Uh, but I don't know. This game just does something. Two D Mario is gonna be new, uh, not new, but it's gonna be. New. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I will be, you know, starting my next LP soon. I've already recorded pretty much half of it. It's not going to be a very long one. Uh, and I hope to see you there, viewer. Thank you for watching.